What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We'll do another, uh, we're doing a trade recap. I'm trying to do this uh, every day if I can in trade recaps. This is right after I had done trading, down about uh, $2,700 on the day, which is not that much realistically, but <clears throat> it was a pretty shitty, pretty shitty day overall. Let me remove this. <clears throat> pretty shitty day overall. Price just like felt bearish. I feel like we had a nice AMD setup on the five minute on NQ. And then you can see, like, yes, gave the move I was looking for, but NQ just didn't. I was hoping we'd take these relatively equal lows down here and this move down uh, with a pretty strong overall uptrend. And then, you know, we came to this 50 minute Ferrari gap here, this 50 minute Ferrari gap here, the $5,500 uh, $5, rejection on. Yes, which if I had just taken that trade, uh, we'd have a different story today on how today would have played out. It would have been, you know, would have taken some kind of trade like this. You know, maybe something like this, 22 points, and yes, it would have been nice, but I ended up was looking in, in Q and I thought it could have some really nice downside potential, and you can see this job, man. I should take some shorts on the smaller time frame, and that's kind of like the mistake I feel like I've been making. <laughs> it's like looking for entries on like one minute and then just don't like zoom out so i took a short which hit stop loss around 9 45 likely uh it was roughly right here luckily uh it was roughly right here right there luckily it was a about 20 point stop and again it was on small size but i was hoping we got this one minute amd here set up you see this accumulation, you got a little manipulation move up here, and then you got a distribution and downside for maybe this equal lows on one minute. And you look at it, <clears throat> and again, I don't think it was a bad trade. I think what I could have probably done better is I'd be a little more patient with it and enter on the GP of this move. But So I if I would have entered uh, right here, stop at the high. And same target, you at least would have gotten in like, you know, you at least would have gotten in like a hundred points. Like I said, the worst, and you stop on the green. So it would have been, would have been a good trade. And I did try to take this. I entered again here. Stopped out. Uh, I was able to take it. No, sorry. We entered right here again. On the, we stopped out, but quickly we entered again on the point five, and I took a PT about twenty five to thirty five points. <clears throat> on this candle again not a ton but at least taking some off stopped out again entered again later again still same idea lingering in my head seeing yes week i'm like okay and q is gonna have to flush at some point uh but price is just not like just not giving in. It. it's like it was my fault maybe i took too many trades as well but looking at it it's like how often is this happening in q Pretty rare that there's just no move throughout the day. It's pretty fucking rare. I understand it's no news today, but most days will be no news. So usually you do have some kind of move towards one direction. You know, maybe I should have just been more patient. Wait, you know, with especially the first trade was not really my trim window of 10 a.m. If I take anyone at 10 a.m. only, right, we're having a decent move. So we entered here, we caught about 80 points, stops out of break even after 80 points. So we recovered a little bit of losses. Then entered again right here. Again, same target down at these lows. Takes them off at this low right here because we had a bullish divergence. About 30 to 40 points. Stops out on the rest around 15 points. It's a frustrating day and then like, I still think that we're going to go lower and it's like, if it's going to happen, like it's, it's going to be so frustrating, like for me personally, like, cause it's like, man, you have the right idea and just like price just fucks with you. Like there's only so much I think I could have, like I kept all the stops tight and that was the right move. I think, uh, regardless of, if, let's say this does play out, like you never just want to hold something. Uh, maybe I should just limit myself to like the three, three trades. But again, I did trade on small size. So if I'm trading on small size, I see every trade is like a half trade. So today I take four trades. If I'm trading half size, I'm taking that as two trades. Me personally, because I'm looking like, I don't care the amount of trades. It's not about the amount of trades, but it's the amount of risk you're putting up. 
Like some guys like lose like three thousand dollars on like one or two trades, and it's just like on a fifty thousand dollar account. It's just like ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's like what, are, like <laughs> man, it just honestly, it's frustrating day. Maybe you just wait for higher time for confirmations. Could it be another idea? And it's extra frustrating because I tend to trade yes. I don't trade in Q too too much. So the one fucking time I trade it, it pays me back with some bullshit. So I'm feeling pretty frustrated, but it's part of trading. It's all about shaking it off. I want to record this like right after. Because if I recorded this like tonight, I probably I will not feel frustrated. Whatever I took the loss, I'll move on pretty quickly. But obviously, like at any level you're trading, you'll if you take losses or whatever, you'll feel especially when PAs like this, you'll feel frustrated. Uh, you will feel frustrated. Then you can't. You just learn to live with it and like move on pretty quickly from it. But you know, it's okay to. It's, it's part of the game, unfortunately, right? And like one of the things you can do to like, especially if you guys are on a pro form account, is like give yourself like a max loss. Like, hey, if you hit minus, let's say you you only want to risk like two percent, one percent for the day or whatever. Fuck it is. Tell your pro form or your broker. A lot of times you can set that. Like, let's say it's minus five hundred because you have a 25 dollars account or whatever it is, you can tell them, like, look, we are out for today. And I will tell all of you guys do have the discipline, but there is um, there is some of you guys that don't have that kind of discipline, so I, rec- I recommend doing it, right? So always have your own risk management in our day because we all have different accounts. We all have different uh, risk tolerance. We, can, we only, you know, it is what it is. So down, uh, so yeah, not a little bit, but pretty pretty confident. Like in my, like, feel pretty confident that we'll we'll make it right back. Like if this daily is a fucking shitty doji, it is what it is. It's a shitty doji uh, candle, and then we'll uh, come back on tomorrow. Tomorrow CPI, so I think price should be pretty clean after the CPI news. Uh, we'll either look for a consolidation, reversal, whatever the fuck it is. And then hopefully uh, we'll catch a nice trade. Luckily, with the uh, winner is CPI the next day, like the options will not move that much. So like that kind of helps me hold more. Like if I'm holding tomorrow's expiration, because it's including CPI in that, you can hold a little more the previous day because it's not going to, uh, contracts are not move as much because they're like, okay, well, anything can happen in CPI. So we don't want to make one price way too much different than the other price if that kind of makes sense you have to understand how implied volatility works uh we'll see what price ends up i'm curious now to see hey where would market where did you want to go did i have the bad read on the market i was hoping like i wasn't even like extremely bearish it's just like i wanted to see equal lows and maybe we long off of that um on this um after our session but look at this <laughs> like i don't even think the full range like that's what it is like the full range is 150 160 points Full range is 160 points, right? Like yesterday's, we caught an over 200 point winner yesterday. Today's range is not even, was not even the winner that we caught from yesterday. Just to kind of put in perspective how bad she was. Again, I can blame the PA, but then they have to recognize it and understand there was probably no trade there, especially in the five minute, there was no trade. Like what am I doing on the one minute scalping, right? Like what am I doing on the one minute scalping? Just garbage, just like straight garbage. Uh, on my end, right? Like, I can blame the PL I want, but straight garbage for my on my part, too. Uh, so, garbage PA, garbage trading leads to garbage results, but uh, I can uh, I can learn from it. Just like we, you guys are learning from it, we all uh, we're gonna learn from it. And yeah, I appreciate you guys, you know, tune in regardless the wins or the losses. There's always a lot to do with the wins. With the losses, it's just always frustrating, uh, like, I share everything. It's like I'll share a loss, and people say, "Oh, you should done this." I'm like, "Well, no shit. You should have told me before I took the trade." Anyway, feeling frustrated in general, man. Which is my trading the last few weeks. It's like inconsistent trading. I feel like it's like I'll catch these huge winners, and then give up a lot of that the next day. Like it's just very, very fucking consistent trading. It's like you know, in all the months are gonna be perfect but you know i do kind of believe in myself to have like a, a really solid 
you know, like a really high standard, right? So it's frustrating when I'm not performing to like the trading that I know I should be perform performing to. So, you know, it is what it is. Also feeling a little burned out, honestly, with like the Discord and everything. It's just like I've been doing it for so long. Like the burnout is just like, like it's, it's no it place at all. But whatever, I'll take some days off at some point in the next few weeks just to kind of reset and just like, it's not even like I'm down or anything. It's just like, generally, even if, I was, if I'm green, it's just like I get out of the day and it's like I feel just so, so annoyed with it. So, anyway, it is what it is. Rant a little bit and, but a lot to learn as always. Uh, we'll see how price ends up today. Appreciate you guys. If you want to subscribe, scroll down below. If you don't, then I'll see you next video. Peace out.